time. In 1935, the campaign for statehood began in earnest when the oligarchy realized their crop was being subjected to a 10 percent. I'm Jay Fidel with Think Tech Hawaii, and we're here at the Plaza Club. We're doing our long-awaited recovery and transformation program with uh, 30 blue ribbon speakers talking about the economy, how it's transforming itself, and what we can do about that to make it a better deal for everyone. We've had our book report from Craig Howes and John Osorio on their new book, The Value of Hawaii. What we wanted to do was have them each take five minutes for an exposition. And uh, some of the expositions are so thoughtful, they're so careful. These guys really worked hard to give us the core of what they wanted to say. And after each person has five minutes exposition, we open it up for discussion among them and with Q&A from the audience. At the end of the hour, we give them some time to kind of wrap up and, and come up with the, you know, the essence of what they've learned in that hour. It's a learning experience. So it starts with a, an exposition and it ends with a learning experience. This is an example to me of a policy or policies that work unfairly. We are not sharing the responsibility. Well, there's a lot of different kinds of speakers from different backgrounds. And when we looked for the kinds of speakers we wanted, we, we wanted very diverse people, people with very different kind of backgrounds, people that normally wouldn't necessarily talk to one another, um, entrepreneurs, politicians, policymakers, people who work privately in the community, academics. We wanted that. We also wanted people that we knew would be interesting speakers and that would, could say good things in a short period of time. The third thing that we wanted is speakers who were not necessarily well known in leadership positions, but leaders that talk about leadership in ways that were different based on their own experiences. All in all, I think it's going very well. Each panel builds on the previous panel, and the result is we get a richer discussion every time you look. People are being candid, people are being forthright, people are dealing with the troubled economy with straight talk, which is exactly what we wanted. So we're very enthusiastic about this program. We think the conversation is an important conversation, and it's going well.